Right. Fine, that's cool. <laughs> it's time to go and get the motorhome. Wow! I'm trying to get the bedding up here in a two inch gap. That's it, that's it. Yay! Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We're Lee and Nick, a married couple from the UK. In 2017, due to a health scare, we gave up our 9 to 5 lives and bought a lodge on the east coast of England, where we started enjoying life and seeing more of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on our latest adventure as we explore the UK in a camper van. Uh, it's time! Wakey wakey, it's camping trip day. It's time. Wakey wakey. Get the kids up. Wakey wakey! Wakey wakey! Oh, they look fast asleep. Hi. Porridge for the girls. And they're having a special ingredient. Biscoff bread. A little bit of biscoff. Get a bit of biscoff, blobbed on the top, and then stirred in so it makes it swirly. It's the most amazing taste ever. I might have some myself. Right. Fine, that's cooked. Cool. <laughs> it's time to go and get the motor home. Go and get Taylor. You, yeah, we're off to get Taylor. Taylor Swift. Our Swift 486. You guys get ready while we're gone, and then we'll try and do a, um, what is it, like a Tetris? Try and get all this into spaces in the uh, motorhome. I'm actually a bit giddy. Well, I should be, we're going on holiday. <laughs> I'm very giddy. I've been a bit apprehensive, obviously, because there's five of us and lots of things to get in this um, camp van, but I'm actually really excited like we're going on a trip, which we are. I'll be excited when it's packed and it's tidy. I can't believe that when we're driving back to the lodge, There'll be a camper van behind me while well, I drive Parker back, Nick will drive the motorhome back and um, then we've got to get it down our street to the lodge and then pack Lodged. it and um, head off on our jolly way. So the first place we're going is near Burton on the Water, um, it's a campsite called Elmswick Campsite. We uh, did all the research on Pitch Up a couple of months ago. Down in the Cotswolds. Yeah, um, so all the campsites that we've got are either three, four or five star. We went for it, we went for, because it's our first trip, we went yeah. for everything with electric hookup, yeah. apart from one night where we're off the grid um, and parking in a car park. The first one where we're going, Elmswick, has a, um, like a petting farm as well. It's so a, we it's a that fully operational for the, farm. For the kids, yeah. So when we get to the motorhome place, we have a one hour training session. So they'll be showing us how to empty the uh, toilet cassette, how to put the beds down, I imagine, and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you take note, Nick, of everything that's there. We have watched enough YouTube videos to be able to know most of it. The yeah, only thing I'm not sure about is the electrics. Right, okay, so they'll be telling us all about stuff like that as well. Yeah. Right, we're actually a little bit early, so we've just stopped off along the way, and we've just seen this abs diner. We're gonna get a cup of tea. We're gonna get his breakfast. We're hungry. <laughs> we're Starting van life off in the right way. Three lovely runny boiled eggs. Nick Sammy means on toast. He doesn't like the boiled eggs. I'm the runny in. eggs, should I say. Right, we've done our training. We meet just, Taylor. <laughs> we'll meet Taylor. We'll show you around, obviously, more when we're back at the lodge. Uh, we'll just wait for one more thing and then uh, Nick's going to drive it back to the lodge. It's massive! Right, you ready to ready. drive? Let me right, just, just... I'll get in car and you follow me. Be careful. Oh, I've got meat. Whoa! Oh. Here's Taylor. It's massive! Not kidding. massive. <laughs> it's shaking up. Not inside. Everything's rattling. Well, it's going to do, isn't it? Wait until we get all the stuff in. Right, come and meet Taylor. Hello, Taylor. Oh, well. That's your seat. Is this our bin? Yeah. That's your two cupboards for the next two weeks. Oh, look look at I'll put it just back there, then we... Gosh! Might be for Gosh. Small! Small? Is it? That's all your clothes in there. This is where me and Nick are sleeping for the next two weeks. Luckily, there's a curtain which will um, pull across. Oh, just banged in my head to give us some privacy. Right, let's get this thing packed. Right, that's all the big, big items. Where'd they all manage to go? Is that all there is? That, back there. Right, so that's kind of full, but we haven't got the electric hookup cable in, which is currently charging. That's gonna go back down. Yeah. And then, the food cupboard's already full. Yeah. Well, full of that's oil all spray, <laughs> egg roll. How do you put Hold on, we'll have to put them in there. 
Right, we found these kind of things are a great help just for putting things in. So I've just emptied these out of the uh, bathroom. There we go, there's three more there. Right. We're fitting things in. Yeah, I think Where? that's I've no it's idea. probably more than you think, really. Yeah, look at this though. I'm gonna put more clothes. You don't need any. Yeah, look at this wardrobe. There's no clothes going in that. No. Let's have a look what you've got in so far. Oh uh, yeah, this food cupboard. I need to condense this because when we were driving, this was rattling around like mad. How do you open the fridge? Just there. Push that button. Oh, you haven't got in there yet. Champagne. Champagne, good. Two and a half hours later, we have done. Finally got we it think packed. we're done. We've actually well, got everything in yeah. as well, haven't we? We could have taken more. We could have taken more. Easy. <laughs> I didn't. I, um, I planned on it and put some extra shirts in. Whatever we haven't got now, we haven't got. We're gonna go. We're gonna take away tea from the lounge and then head down to um, Burton on the Water. No. Yeah, Cotswolds. That Elmsworth area. Campsite. Yeah. And the uh, crook that I need for the sat nav, I don't need anymore. So I need to cancel that as soon as we're in because the dashboard has some kind of massive clamp that holds sat navs in. So I've just installed that, so I just need to program yeah. it. And Once then... we get settled and stuff and we're at a campsite where we're there for a while, we'll show you around properly in there. Yeah. You've got two weeks of um, lovely van life vlogs now. I can hear banging and clattering already. Let's go. Right, we have three hours, 47 minutes to our first stop, which is Elmwick campsite in... Burton on the water. Burton on the water, it down in the anyway. Cotswolds. Um, so um, it's just started raining, but we're not bothered because we're in his home now for the next two weeks. And surprisingly, everything's tidy and everything's away. Everything's tidy, everything's away, and nothing's rattling neither. Janine's found out that we actually never told her about underneath the chairs. It means we can do some shopping while we're there. I know, that's why we didn't tell you. Right, we've literally been driving from the lodge, we've got to the motorway, we've pulled into a service station because um, little Miss little Miss Masher, I need a wee! So we're, so, we're, uh, we're just driving oh. past the service station, so we thought we'd, um, yeah. they might as well just nip in. So they're in there, the we're in here, we were just saying, I can't believe that we're this was in the home. lodge drive an hour ago, and we just sat here, like everything, I mean look at the junk here, I mean, they've only been driving for 40 minutes, and look at that, and we're just walking up and down, in the motorhome, eating a snacks. Love it. Right, they're back and we're on his way again. Three hours to go. So it's the first time the uh, toilet's been used. Oh! What? You can turn that off. Oh, the TV's yes, almost been hitting me in the head. It's been moving left and right on the uh, little Shut thing. I need a screwdriver. Oh, why? Just because it's slack. Right, so that is up there on the little, um, what do you call these things? Bracket. Bracket. And it's been swinging and almost hitting me in the head, so it's just, just tightening it Tighten up. everything. So the girls are just... Stretching, stretching their legs. We're about 10 oh. miles from Tamworth. They're looking for food. <laughs> you better get something quick then. Right, what we're going to have while we're stopped. Oh, Haribo wine gums. Ooh. Right, right. Are we ready? we're going again. This is our car pew ride. Sat nav system, which we showed you in another vlog. It's worked perfectly so far. It's nice and it clamps this big thing. Yeah, it's nice to have the big screen. So, one hour, 25 minutes to go. We'll now be there at six minutes past seven. Oh. Right, they've just gone into Morrison's. We're in Morrison's car park. They're just gonna go get something for uh, food. We do have beans on toast, uh, but we're fancying something a little bit better than that. So uh, I think Nick's gonna get some steaks because we bought, where is it? Oh, there we go. We brought the air fryer. 
So we're gonna try that. So what time is it now? It is 10 past seven. I think it's about 10 minutes from here to the campsite. Then we're gonna get on, onto the pitch, hook up all the electrics. Um, we, need some, we need to fill the water tank because there's not much in. And um, well, that's it really, just set up. We've got some chairs, tables. It's a beautiful evening, so hopefully it stays like this so we'll get the um, uh, things out, out back and uh, cook the meal. Uh, have a f some food, have a chill, and then we're going to set all the beds up um, for bedtime. <coughs> what the frig have you got? Just a few bits. I don't know where we're going to keep it. Yeah, we're going to keep it. Well, food cupboards. We've got enough for tonight and tomorrow for cooking. Right, they're on the way back. We need to program the sat nav. I'm starving. And we've got to fill the water tank up and then we can unpack and chill. This is going to be interesting to see how much this It's exactly costs. half empty. It's got us to Tewkesbury. We're at Tewkesbury in Morrisons. And it's literally half full from when we picked it up in Bridlington. And we're already at £25. Yeah, and it's well expensive, this diesel here. It's one ninety four. So whatever it costs, you must as well double it. That's what it's going to cost to fill it. £63.9 p for half a tank. So £125 for a full. Right, we're nine minutes away. The um, roads have gone a little bit narrow. Well, we and took a diversion. Well, the oh my crash. goodness gracious me, here we go. Right, we've we'll got well. past them. So, I did look on um, Satnav earlier, and I knew the roads were going to be slightly tight, but not too tight. Not as tight as that, that was single traffic. One and a half miles. Um, but I think this is the only way into the campsite, so. It's not too bad at the moment. I imagine there's going to be a lot worse down in Cornwall. Well, at least after day one we've got the car. Yeah, that's true. So we won't run that in a Corsa. Right, here we are. Here's the campsite. Right, come round here and I think it takes, tells us here where we are. I'm not sure if you can see, but the girlies are actually just going on a little um, uh, truck ride, farm truck ride already, um, around the camp with all the other kids. We've got to just go over here and fill up with water, and then we can reverse back into our space and get it's sorted. Old. And now cook tea. Yeah. Right. Water fill up time. Well, Think. The girlies are on their ride. Got it's a lovely sight. Uh, so. We'll show you around later, but I'll just show you what I can while Nick's doing that. So you come in, your name's on the board, they'll tell you which your uh, pitch is. You can just see the uh, tractor going round with the girls on and my sister. Um, we just met the owner, she's absolutely lovely. Um, so it's basically just a big field. Um, it just seems so friendly already. And then here, you got your washing up, your laundry. Nick's just gonna sort the um, water. And then outside there's an electric um, hookup for charging if you need that. So let me have a quick look in here. Okay, so here's your uh, sinks. And some, um, oh, I've got some, what's these? And these fridges, if you want to put our stuff in the fridge. Yeah, right, okay. Fridge and freezers, washer. I need you to go inside, turn the electric panel on, and make sure that the water tank goes from fills to the top. Okay. There they are on the tractor going round. And then I think during the day they take you on the tractor to uh, see the farm animals. And I'm just keeping an eye on this. This tells us how full the water is. So it's gone up to two notches. I'll just show you this shower quickly because there's nobody in it. It's a gender neutral shower. So you get all that to yourself. And you want a shower. And then there's reception and a camp cafe here which is open in the mornings. Right, we're just putting the chocks on because it's a slight um, slope. So these came with the higher price and you just go forwards onto them. Yeah, we'll just go extremely slow. And then this levels off the van. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. That's up one. Uh, hang on, hang on. Everybody's watching you, Nick, no pressure. <laughs> I don't want it to go too far, because it all 
He's on one. <laughs> Everybody's watching. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Electric cable hookup time. It's a massive cable that's come with it as well. You also get a, uh, a three pin plug in case you, you want that or need that. So just plug it in around there. Does it say what wattage it is? Uh, it's a 16 amp. So we basically, Janine can run her air dryer. Good. And then right. this just plugs in up to the side Good here. Side. No, I see you. Oh, no, it's not. No, Other side. Other oh. side. It's your first time, I'll figure you. And next door's got a little uh, camping fire lit. <laughs> next door's got a little camping fire lit. I think they're having barbecue. Yeah. Right, two steaks going into the slow cooker. How long do these need to go on for? Uh, on 180 for. Do I press that steak minutes. button? Yeah. And then start. The mess is stressing me out already. Lee's leaving. Lee's literally going from one place to another and just leaving something wherever he goes. There's so far on the bed. There's two tea towels, a phone, a pair of keys, a pair of glasses, a bag, and two pairs of shoes. And he's only been in for five minutes. And now he's on this table making a salad. Doing a salad, and we have got in the air fryer, which I'm glad we brought. Denise is cooking the kids' food. We've got some beer cut chips, and then in here, we've got two massive rump steaks, which are taking quite a bit to cook actually because they're so big. But um, perseverance, and I even brought A1 steak sauce as well. And oh, stupid thing, and the TV set up 289 channels on Freeview. Uh, we will actually give you a tour later on in this series, but basically, this aerial here is lowered and hired and um, I've just literally picked a direction and tuned the TV and it worked randomly. How it did that, I've no idea. Maybe it's a multi-directional aerial. Anybody knows, let us know in the comments below. You're doing well with that salad. Good. Right, first meal ready in the motorhome. Rump steak in the microwave, in the uh, air, air fryer. Do you want some? Yeah, please. Bit of air one steak sauce. Would you Janine want any? Um, I not try sure. A little bit. I've got, just not a little loads. bit because I've not tried it. It's basically like vinegary HP. Right, dinner was a roaring success. We're going to go out now, put the chairs up, and light a little fire pit. And have s'mores. And you, and we're going to have s'mores, but this greedy one, stuff yourself with jelly. Alcohol-free beer for moi. Mash is all snug and cosy over there. The sun's just setting Still in the distance. Cold. The sun's setting it's in the not distance. Cold. Wait till we get to Cornwall, it'll be baking. Yes, it should be. This is my third gin and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Right, I've got the fire stick set up. Unfortunately, we forgot the remote control, so we couldn't control it, but I've managed to tether the Wi-Fi. I've changed the Wi-Fi on the on Lee's phone to match what we have at the lodge. The Fire Stick's connected, I've connected, and then I've used the Fire Stick app on my mobile to connect to the Fire Stick to stream. And um, Lee is currently uploading vlogs. You called, Janine? Yeah. Feels a bit nippy in here now. Well, if we get the door shut, we can put the heating on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Central heating. We're gonna have a cup of tea to warm us up. Oh, woman. Well, you have to get kettle lights down there. Yeah. The right, the blackout blinds and the reflector for the sun. Is going up if I for the evening. Out to connect. Oh, put it backwards. Big six. It's like one of those wraps that you put on marathon runners when they finish the yeah. marathon to keep them warm. 
This will keep the heating on at night, but also black out the sun in the morning. This is a pain in the backside, having to do this. Some of the new models have got like things that you slide yeah, down. Yeah, I've seen them. Right, it's cup of tea time. The girls are on their uh, iPads. Uncle Nick's still trying to um, sort out the um, thing, the cover on the, on the door, on the window. Janine's having a coffee. Um, Star Trek's on the TV. And um, all is quiet. It's almost bedtime, so we're starting to make the beds. So this should be interesting because we have no idea which cushions belong to which. So, um, back in five minutes. Right, so our bed, these little lap things pull out from the inner. And then um, we just take the um, the bed off the top. And then these, I believe, go here. And make up the bed. And then we get one off this side. And then one off the other side. Which make up the bed. And I think... There's kind of like a spacer thing that goes in somewhere. We'll just have to see what's left. And then we turn these cushions upside down and then that's our bed made. And then good luck to you guys. Wonderful me. <laughs> Here's wonderful you. <laughs> right, we've just, uh, Uncle Nick's just been doing all this for the last Hi, half an hour. Sure. The girl is up there in their bed. Me. The, um, my sister's sleeping here on the single me, bed. Nick's cleaning his teeth. And uh, here's our double bed. So uh, I'm just going to turn some lights off. We'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Are you awake? there all day. No. <laughs> right, who's making breakfast? Me. Not me. What are you having? Um, I, I want a cup of tea. tea. I slept quite well actually. Did you? <laughs> Nick said it was freezing during the night. I didn't wake up cold or anything. I would have slept had you slept normal. Instead of head there, I see it, legs there. Where? So I was literally had the triangles that were left. <sighs> a bit tired now though. Me too. So we just need to tidy up now and get all the cushions away and then we can have some living space. Yeah, because we are going to drive into town today. Um, if not, we'll probably just left it like this. But uh, <laughs> we're going to go into town. What are you doing? <sighs> Trying to get the bedding up here in a two inch gap. Are you too cold or something? We're just heading to the shower blocks just to have a look. Lee's gonna get in the shower there. Shower over there because they look nice showers. I'm gonna use the one in the uh, the motorhome. Just I wanna to try it. Yeah. Um I'm hoping the cafe's open, get a bacon butter. Yeah, I've I got it. I can't remember what time she said it opened. Yeah, I think they do bacon butters and things like that. I'm sold. Um so it's weird that they've got a farmer's field and they've got a, a car charging station just plonked in the middle. Huh? Good if, well it's, it's good if you if we brought a park and we're gonna charge it up. Well, I suppose. Right, so this is the cafe. They do uh, everything's really cheap actually, and she takes card as well. It's not just cash only. It looks like the kind of place that we would probably normally take cash, but um, but no. So Lee's going to go in the shower. I'm going to head back now to the motorhome, and um, I'm going to get in the shower there. He's took my only towel. He never brought a towel, so I've got to wait for him to come back before I can get in the shower, and then he's going to come back with bacon butties. Right, shower done. Um, it was a really powerful shower actually, and the water was scalding hot. The, the cubicle very very small um, however the shower hook on the wall has actually been fitted backwards luckily and I planned ahead I brought my screwdriver and um, a pair of pliers and some other bits and bats so I managed to fix it and put it on the right way around Lee still hasn't come back with my towel so I've just had to literally drip dry in the shower um, so today's stop we'll be calling for a towel for Lee first morning we thought we'd bite in so we have pan of chocolate for the kids they've already had some cereal it's warm, that as well. 
check that out. Sausage cob with HP for Nick. Have you put HP on? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna, I brought some. I was, gonna check um, on. I was gonna go sort of vegan vegetarian, but I couldn't, so I didn't have sausages. It's not proper van life unless you do vegan. Exactly. So I've gone I've got egg, so it's vegetarian. An egg cob. I don't know what this is gonna look like. Make sure she put it on. It's light as a feather. Yeah, it's just an egg, isn't it? Let's have a look. Mm. Yeah, that looks alright. Yeah. Right then, let me try this. The kids have got pan of chocolates. Yeah. Right. First time to empty this. We don't really need to empty it, but we're just going to do it because it's um, only number ones have been done so far. So we're going to go and empty it in the um, waste disposal. Oh God, there's a lot in it. I told you the bar. So it comes out in like a little suitcasey thing. This handle. The handle comes up, and you can just sort of wheel it to the waste disposal. So it should be nice and easy. There we go. It's just like a little suitcase. <laughs> So the one thing that, uh, <laughs> having it like that, everybody knows what you're doing. It's like walking through an airport with your hand looking. I know, everybody knows that you're taking your, uh, your crap to the uh, waste station. I don't think I'm have to do the next bit. <laughs> I might have to vlog you doing it. Right, here's the waste disposal. I really don't want to do this, I can't believe it. So much pee weighs so much. Right. So we've got a little pipe there that everything comes out of and a little suction button at the bottom which pumps it all out. Look at you standing back. Somebody's got a vlog. Here we go. Nice and blue with all the L's and blue in. There you go, that's not bad. There's water running down it. Well, it's not water, obviously. Right, with the position of the sat now, we actually had it mounted in this thing here. So on the Swift, you get these, this big clampy thing that you can put your own sat nav, iPad and things like that in there, but we're not using that today. I've actually moved it so it's better where it is. So let me just get rid of this cable. And I've mounted it there and I've programmed it already on my phone. So it's connecting wirelessly to my, my phone, which is currently down by my side. So it's pre-programmed, 43 minutes from here, 25 miles. And uh, I'm going to sit back and relax. Are you? Put your feet up. Me, I'm. I am, yeah. Out some We're all ready to go. Right, so we're headed to Burton on the water now, which is about 35 minutes away from the campsite. It's a little village in the Cotswolds. Um, it should be looking very pretty, and there's um, uh, a model village there as well, so we might go and check that out. And I'm sure we'll uh, partake in some nice Cotswolds food for uh, lunch. What do you think about that? What, like an ice cream, like a clotted cream ice cream? Maybe, something like that, yeah. Just pulled over to uh, appreciate this scenery as we're driving past. The weather is beautiful and it's just so green and pretty out there. You can see the shimmer all over the field, which is yeah. actually the heat from this field. So it's going to be a scorcher today, even though it's only 18 degrees at the minute. Right, we've got parked up in the motorhome space. Burton Vale Car Park. Burton they Vale Car Park. Motorhomes. So we're in zone J. So uh, that's where we're parked for the day. And now we're going to have a look how much it's going to cost. We've never been here before. Janine's been, so she's going to be our tour guide. There's the motorhome prices for this car park. It's probably going to get three hours, £6.50. And you can stay overnight as well for £15. Right, I'm just having a look at this while Nick's um, paying for the car park. So we've got uh, Cotswold Motoring Museums here and uh, the model village might go and check that out and birdland that looks a popular place the chestnut tree eatery and tea room all the tables are full so we're just walking along here to the river over the bridge there's some guy doing yoga or something there 
come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Is it warm in there, Nick? It's absolutely freezing. It's freezing! If I went in waist down, I'd, I'd uh, reverse age. Okay. Stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage we were high Right, so we've made our way down into the main village. We were going to stay here, bakery on the water, because our friend Lisa had said that it was the best bakery ever. So we went out the back, but the um, tables are covered in wasps. So there is a, uh, a, a sign saying, be careful wasps, so we're, and it's a bit hot inside, so we're going to yeah, try we and find somewhere we else. We found a table inside, and it wasn't very vlog worthy. It was just a little back room with like dark, dismal walls, and we were like, it's baking in here. Yeah. So we're going to have a look. There's plenty of other choices. So we're going to have a mooch and then decide where we're having something to eat. People could stare, I didn't give right, we've got a uh, table at the chestnut tree. Uh, we're starting with a uh, afternoon tea scone. Don't you think it looks like one of those Japanese pancakes? You know, they're like spongy, fluffy pancakes. Yeah. So they don't have any um, current scones here. So it's a plain scone with yeah. butters and some jam and some tea. And he has got a wasp problem as well. There's wasps everywhere, but uh, thankfully they're contained in these it's little uh, catches. Here, though, Right, jam or cream first? Which uh, part of the country are we in? Jam. It's always jam anyway. Food's turned up. Fish finger sandwich. Looks like um, bird's eyes, don't they? Oh, no, there's no sauce. No. Oh, I need some sauce. Go get some tomato. They were just saying, had we planned ahead, we'd have probably got, brought a picnic and sat on the, wind, the river Windrush just over there. I remember thinking if I Right, we've had his um, fish finger sandwich and a scone, and we're just heading onto the little back streets now, across from the main bridge. We're just going to have a little bit of a mooch around here. So apparently this place is called the Venice of the Cotswolds, hence the, uh, the uh, river there and people in it. And I've not seen any gondolas yet, though. Did you read that in a travel guide? No, you told me earlier. Right, so the kids want an ice cream, and I didn't have to have my arm twisted either, so we're just going to head now, to see if we can find somewhere very, very busy at the minute. There's cars coming left, right and centre. This little side street looks promising. Have you found anywhere, kids, where we can get ice creams? Well, do they do ice creams though? That's the thing. Right, there wasn't an ice cream shop down there, but we've uh, come back onto the, the main river Windrush, and um, how very picturesque is this? And look behind you. Kids have found an ice cream. Right, we're going into the model village, so admission prices are there. Adults are £4.50, seniors are £4, and children are 3 to 13 are 3 to 3 Oh my god! You can actually get to go like up close to these models, actually touch them. Careful, you're going to knock a house down. <laughs> I absolutely love a model village. But this this is like, like Nick was saying, like a completely different model village. Because they're all actually touch it like built with stone, like proper houses. Um, so well, that's probably why you can touch them because you're not going to knock them over. Nick was just saying, if I walk down the street with the camera upside down, you probably look like I'm going down a real street. So I'm well, going to try that. Flick it round. Yeah, I'm going to try it. <laughs> So the first thing you come to is a mini, mini village, which is like tiny little things, you can't touch all those. Did you like my um, little scene there when I just walked down the street, looked in the windows? I don't know, I'll tell you once I've, when I'm editing. <laughs> if not, if it's not in this video, we'll crap. <laughs> it looks like a mermaid, but it's not, she's just got jeans on. But look in the living room here. Is it a proper room? Yeah, there's a woman, and a woman sat in a chair, a cat having some dinner and a rug, and then there's a, there's a little set of drawers, and uh, a newspaper on the table and a pair of glasses. <laughs> Right, the girls are doing a little sort of treasure trail thing where they're finding things around the uh, miniature village. That's a nice big house, isn't it? Friggin' massive.
This little street here is where we've just eaten. The chestnut tree. So we were just sat there where the um, tables were and there were a pharmacy next door. Right, so I've got, I've got a theoretical question. If this is a model village of the village, where's the model village in the model village? Uh, where is that little one around there? You know when I think we're really tiny? Well, maybe. Well, let's go and have a look, see if we can see it. So I wonder if this is it. I wonder if that's the model village in the village. Maybe. But it should be larger than that. Unless that's oh, the maybe. village within the village within the village. Yeah, maybe. It's one of those things that could loop on forever, isn't it? Yeah. So in there there'll be another Molly village, and in there there'll be another Molly village. So we were just listening to some people and they were having the same conversation and that that model village is a model village within this model village and then within that model village there was a tiny one. I wonder if we looked further whether we'd find another one within that miniature one. That miniature miniature one. What do you think? Well, it's got to finish at some point, hasn't it? This is a new looking building. This looks brand new. So the, is that one over there? It's actually. even got like guttering, guttering. Lead flash. Lead flash, what's that? Lead flashing. Oh. Uh, and then little mesh to stop pin. the um, drains from filling up. I love it, the chip shed. So when we parked the van, I actually remember seeing Londis. Londis shop, look. Londis, look, look. doing a little um, thing, trying to find Londis on it. So all day we've been calling it Burton on the water. I actually think it's called Bolton on the water. I blame Nick for that one. Won't be one of our vlogs if we didn't say it wrong. That's true. So we've made our way into the Christmas shop somehow. And there's lots of Disney baubles. Mickey and Minnie, the Grinch, Snow White. Lots of Disney baubles. They're quite nice. I'm sure I can hear Christmas music I playing can. as well. It's not going to be long and it'll be Christmas again. Some Harry Potter ones as well. As I'm walking down the street now, I'm looking at all the names of the shops that I saw in the model village. All these were on there. And then we're back to uh, where we started almost, where the uh, river is. What? Oh my God. Shop. The candy shop, we've got to go look at that. It looks like somewhat off of Willy Wonka and Gretel. Well, yeah. Once upon a candy shop. Just the front makes me want to eat it. You'll scoff it and it'll just be in the last bag. The girls are very giddy at the moment, wanting everything in the store. We've got some Harry Bros. I don't care. I'm literally feeding you guys. I'm gonna have to get somewhere. Peanut crunch fudge, clotted cream, maple and walnut. I'm not a big fan of fudge, but I would try some of this maybe. Rocky Road, Oreo. Should we get some? Rum and raisin, Bailey's, potted cream. Let's just get a piece. Oh, millionaire fudge! I'll have a piece of that. Oh my god! Oh, there's some more out on the side as well. There's lots of wasps too. Right, I finally found something vegan for me to try. I'm gonna get vegan salted caramel fudge. There you go, Nick. Get me a piece of that. I don't know where your vegan is because they all look the same. However, just those small pieces were seven pound. Now, let me try this one. This, looks, this might look vegan. No, you got me a small bit, didn't you? What, what flavour was it? Um, salted caramel, I think. Mm, that smells of clotted cream. Well, it's no good if you didn't take note of which one it was. That way, I think. It's Maybe. probably nothing, so yeah, it probably is. Mm. This one's, oh, this one's maple crunch. Ooh, that's really nice, actually. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. It's delicious. So I'll just show you around, then you can see how busy Barton on the water gets on a Saturday. In the summer. In the summer. But it's a beautiful little village. made our way into the motor museum it's 22 pounds for a family ticket which was two adults and two kids and then a further seven pound for another adult Nick's found something he's looking at what is it it's a 1923 um, caravan so if you look in here you've got the sleeping area you've got a stove you've got a kitchen there you've got a table over there and like where you have your meals and things quite roomy actually. it's almost like a 
like what you see in Stardust, you know, when Stardust yeah, when she yeah, keeps yeah. that woman locked up inside yeah. with the bird. It's almost like that. So there's eight rooms full of cars. This is the first one. Seven more rooms to go. What? Someone's had their sweets taken off her because she was eating them all. No, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Lady Mary sits in the back. Yeah. Apparently this little car was in a BBC TV programme called Brum. I've never heard of it. There it is. And there's Nick going through to the next room. Take yourself and then we'll swing you back a little bit more. I'm trying to get the uh, pin the tail right, on the, the tail pig. On the pig. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look where that ended up. On its head. <laughs> Pull your hat over your eyes. Right, Masha's gonna have a go. Here's a pig tail. Let's spin around so she doesn't orientate herself and then spin her back again. Right, pin the tail on go the pig. Go for it, Masha, go. First place you touch, ready? Ready? Rubbish. Right, we've come into the third room but it smells of smoke. Well, either smoke or charcoal or like a charred wood. I'm sure, is this the one that they had in uh, Titanic where Kate Winslet and um, Leonardo had a bit of bumpy bumpy? Yeah, and it, it didn't say that on the side either. Oh my God, an OXO truck. I wonder if your mum remembers these driving around. No, I bet you to it. It's not even funny, I bet you to it. Oh my God, it's Santa's old sleigh. Look at that, that's Santa's old sleigh or his very first sleigh. Janine's found a penny farthing. Kids are like, what? What's a penny farthing? Onto the fourth room. There's a there's a racing theme to a lot of these rooms, yeah. isn't there? Like um, like pit stops and places to like change your oils and things like that. And you made a picture? Yeah, and it's an infant or something. Uh, oh, of a car? Yeah. Very good, that. Yeah, this is the 1960s, thought it was. Some of the, oh, you can tell from the mullets, you've got, um, what's he called? Um, Michael Caine. Yeah. Michael Caine. I actually used to drive a car like this, but it had a, it had a, a back on it, a mini pickup, Not remember? Not alive in the 1960s. No, I borrowed it once when this I brought my Janine's car off. Yeah. Can you remember this, these cars, Janine? No. Yeah. Little radio station. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. You had little, you had, you had like a metal thing to, yeah. to play it. We've got one in the, um, yeah. Uh, I'll take it my mum's house. Um, I had one of them for my ZX Spectrum to play the uh, music in, but I think it was a bit, a bit more modern than that. And then look at that there, one of the very first scientific calculators. Blue Peter Manual. Who remembers a Blue Peter Manual? Oh my God. I've actually got... Lee. Under the bed at the lodge, I've actually got some things to put in that. Every kid had one of those. But I've still got all the, um, the circle things yeah. to put in it. Do you remember them, Ginny? This is a bit techy back. Oh my god, look at that. CNA. There's actually CNA still in France. When we went in uh, September, we saw them. Right, we're in the next door, uh, outdoor area, and uh, Masha's trying to have a go in her own car. Is she gonna fit? <laughs> Hang on, she can't get a leg in. Just stick it, that's it, put it there. Ready to steer? Are you steering? I'm actually steering it, but never mind. I love how everything in Bolton on the Water is kind of centralised around this the river. So you're not very far away from it at all. Just love the sound of running water and then there's another nice eating place there. I quite enjoyed that actually. I that was surprisingly better than yeah, I thought. Yeah, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like, but I enjoyed it. If you've ever walked in All Star, which one is it? The movies. reception of All oh, Star yeah. movies, or one of them. No, it was it was the 80s, 60s, 80s. Yeah, it was and they one. have all the like memorabilia on the walls in the All Star resorts. It kind of reminded me of that. I know yeah. I'm comparing it to Disney again, but it did. And across had, um, between that and Dieselland. Yeah, Dieselland as well with the car museums. Right, we're back in Taylor, which is the name of our van because it's a Swift. 
So we're heading back to the campsite and it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon it's still beautiful and sunshine. So we're going to enjoy the campsite. It's our last night there. We're going to fill it back up with water, get the tables out, get the um, chairs out, get the rugs out, fire pit. Just buy a pit and just have a beer at the side of the van. Nick's going to make a Thai green curry tonight. I'm going to see what it's like editing in the, the van tonight. And um, that's what's happening. Just chilling. Chilling. Van life. Bye -bye. Right, just filling up with water before we go and get our uh, pitch again. Oop. That's why it won't work in. It had a kink in the pipe. Chuck time again. Ready? Yep, go for it. Uh, one more, one more, that's it. Done, oh. yep, done. This is what van life is all about. What, drinking no alcoholic beer? A beer, sat in the sun. I'm trying to be a vegan. Well, you have not really um, managed it much today. We're all rigged up. We will at some point show you what the park up procedure is and getting it all sort of prepped, the electric on the water yeah. and how to do it. Because when we were looking for this, we looked for Swiss 486. We couldn't find any videos at all other than how to make the beds. Asher's heart. I'll splash it at you. <laughs> you missed. Did I miss then? Did I miss then? Are you cool now? It's dinner time. We're making a Thai green curry, which these kids are going to try, they've said, because they want to try curry. Well, okay. So where's Marsha, but she's outside. She's practicing skipping. Like, literally struggling with pan sizes in here. So that's got to three, feed three people. The sauce has got to go in. The um, baby sweet corn's got to go in. And I'm going to cook it, get the chicken in, and then do the rice separate. So this is going to be a little bit difficult. And then somehow I've managed to grate two limes without a grater. I'm just going to spend it in. Right, things are back under control. Multiple pan time. Sweet corns are in there. The uh, sugar snap peas, which they've actually podded in the uh, put in the packets, uh, pea pods. The chicken's now done. I've just got to chop a red chilli and get somehow some lime and some lime juice and get it in there. Get it all boiled up, mixed together, and then um, there's some coconut rice somewhere. Where's the coconut rice gone? It's on the sofa. Coconut rice, and then we're ready to have our dinner. What are you having for dinner? Um, ravioli and a toasted bagel. Sounds delicious. One of our little nieces is vlogging this. I'm just going to put the chicken in, into the, uh, I've actually used two lots of the curry paste to make it extra lime and coconutty. So I'm just going to add the chicken, put two bags of coconut rice in the microwave, but there's literally enough to feed half the campsite here. Mm. So once this is done, we're ready to serve. So we'll, nice, we'll have it with a nice glass of vino outside, I think. God, that's hot. There's so much. I was going to do three bags of rice and all, but I'm glad I didn't. Right, I'm not sure how much sauce there's going to be. Imagine there's quite a lot of sauce. One Thai green curry for evening meal. Cooked in a poaching pan. And an air fryer. And an air fryer. If it wasn't for the air fryer, I don't know how I would have done the chicken. What a treat. Thai green oh curry, God, bit hot. Whole hot. <laughs> That curry was delicious. And the owners of the um, park have just come around asking us if we want any um, firewood. £7.50 for a bag. We and, needed a little bit for some smarge. We needed a little bit for some smarge, but we've got enough there for two weeks now. Well, that'll light the bloody torches and a lot of the rings. We can feed the whole um, thing in. Right, I literally grabbed the camera. The, uh, the lady that owns the campsite, she's taking the kids around on a tractor ride again, like last night. So they're just trying to all squeeze on, and then um, they're all going to race around. I wish you'd have come two hours ago and took them. 
They've been a bit hot today. It's been bothered. A, oh god, can you imagine when we get to Cornwall what it's going to be like? It's going to be heat with apparently next week. Well, it's this 27 week, degrees inside now, it's 22 30. outside, it's going to be 30 in Cornwall. I cannot wait, as long I'm as it's a sea breeze. Just here, edited with my divider. How rude. Yeah, woman from the tractor riders just dropped him off, but we've shut the door and pretended we're not in. Bugger off, we don't want any. No. Thanks. How was it? Good. We saw a hot air balloon. Did you hot air balloon? There? Right, we're just coming outside to watch this sunset. It's a bit smoky because there's lots of barbecues and fire pits uh, out at the minute. But there's a beautiful sunset happening right now. The girls and my sister are around in the showers. So they're going to miss this little bit. I would give you a chair, but the kids' knickers have wrecked the drying on it. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> right, go. so we're going to just plonk ourselves down <sighs> and um, enjoy this. starting the fire so we um, got the big sack of logs which is gonna go on and then we have schmoz, schmoz which schmoz. the girls have been looking forward to all day so we have to let that fire log burn off first because it's like a chemical one once that's burning we can then get well, once the ashes are in there's enough to be able to toast them so it's gonna be a while while I get it lit Right, that's roaring away there. And uh, this is the schmoz kit that we got. I think my, I think my mum or Janine got us it for Christmas one year. I think so. This year, actually. Mum, I think, yeah. So it makes eight schmoz. Um, schmoz. 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 So you get uh, hazelnut spread, wrong, never mind. marshmallows, and sweet schmoz oh, crackers. Look at that going. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I was waiting for Right, it's s'mores time. S'mores! 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 <laughs> the time of the day that the girls have been looking forward to all day long. Well, what do they call them, Masha? S'mores! What do they call them? S'mores! Right, come on, Uncle Nick. Right, let me take the biscuits out. The biscuits. Well, it's half a biscuit each because I can only put one marshmallow on the stick. Is it toasting or what? Yeah. Yeah, two. One right, that one's done. One marshmallow. Oh, that's... Right, hold on. What can I do? Where's the other stick? Is it two biscuits each or one biscuit each? Oh, Masha, have the first small. That's tiny. <laughs> what did she just say? That one we're getting. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be having more of this. Well. Oh, that one's tough. Oh, look at that, right. yeah. We'll be Is it good? More, we'll be having more later good? if there's any left. There's not going to be any left. Well, not with you two gannets. How many there is? Mmm. Nice s'mores. S'more. S'mores. First time I think I've ever had s'mores and they were very, very nice. Get those again. Um, so, we're just enjoying our time around the fire and um, then we're going to get the beds ready getting to bed oh i'm not looking forward to that <laughs> and tomorrow we are heading down to padstow way why is it nick padstow way down near padstow but it's not actually wade's bridge wade's bridge wade's, wade's bridge which is now sort of close by padstow so that's when our cornwall um vacation Ventures. really starts so i'm going to finish the vlog now because i'm going to go and edit this one now so thanks for watching today guys hit the like button click the notification bell drop us a comment below and uh, we'll see you on the next vlog when we are heading down to um waybridge wade's, wade's bridge wherever I'll turn that bloody light off and uh, the girls are going to say goodbye bye 
Michael Mashes with so Good enthusiastic. Evening. Look at her. Bye. <laughs> She's cold. Bye. 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 Bye.